Hello everyone, this is Mark from MrHurricaneTracker.com. We're currently watching Hurricane Earl. we got all eyes on Hurricane Earl. Uh, right now we do have a lot to talk about though in the Atlantic Sea, in the Gulf of Mexico, and the Eastern Pacific. Right now we have four major concerns in the Atlantic Sea. And three major concerns actually for Hurricane Earl, Tropical Storm Fiona, and Tropical Depression Number 9. The fourth storm is off the South African coast and could be our next concern as it makes a new tropical depression. I'm going to go ahead and go on into uh, Hurricane Earl. On the right here also on the Eastern Pacific we do have a storm system that has a chance of developing. First things first though we're going to talk about Hurricane Earl. Hurricane Earl is still a large hurricane and continues to move really close to the United States. Hurricane Earl is a Category 3, according to the National Hurricane Center, just as of yesterday, it was a Category 4, and just lost a little bit of strength. Hurricane Earl, this is advisory number 29 Alpha from the National Hurricane Center. This is a 2 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time advisory, and the max sustained winds of the storm are 110 knots or 125 miles per hour, so it's still packing a lot of winds in the storm. This is a Category 3, and its minimum central pressure is 941 millibars, and its location, if you're tracking it with us at MrHurricaneTracker.com, is a 25.7 north and 72.7 west. Its movement is northwest at 15 knots or 17 miles per hour. And the storm will continue to move on in and probably have a good effects on the northern Carolina area as of tomorrow or tomorrow night. There are hurricane warnings all the way from northern Carolina all the way up to Cape Cod. We're going to continue to keep you posted on what's happening with Hurricane Earl. We go down into the area where Tropical, Depre Tropical Storm Fiona is located. Tropical Storm Fiona is also a strong storm. This is advisory number 8 alpha as of 2 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time. Its max sustained winds are 50 knots or 60 miles per hour. And its minimum central pressure is 1,001 millibars. And its location is 19.3 north, 62.2 west. Movement is northwest at 15 knots or 17 miles per hour. Areas in the northern Leeward Islands are feeling the effects of Tropical Storm Fiona as it continues to move away and will continue to move northwest and possibly have an effect in the Bermuda area in the next couple of days as we continue to track that. As we go on into the Atlantic farther out, we see that there is another storm system now called Tropical Depression 9. Tropical Depression 9 is a new storm as an advisory number 1 as 11 a.m. Atlantic Standard Time. And this is going to be a new storm. Its max sustained winds are 30 knots or 35 miles per hour. Minimum central pressure is 1,006 millibars. And its location is 12.4 north and 35.8 west. Movement is west at 13 knots or 15 miles per hour. So once again, this is a new storm, tropical depression number 9. And will continue to move on west. And the storm will move west at, again, 15 miles per hour. and may have an effect in the area of the Caribbean and also the Gulf of Mexico which will have an uh, impact probably uh, very far away to tell but we're, con we're going to continue to keep you posted. We also have the storm right behind it that just came off the South African coast and could be our next tropical depression. So we're going to have to keep a good close eye on this as well. As we go on into the eastern Pacific we do show another storm system that's developing and this storm is just about 300 miles southwest of the Manzanillo, Mexico area and this storm system now has 80 percent chance of developing into the next tropical depression here in the eastern pacific so a lot to talk about a lot of storms out there we'll have to continue to keep you posted on what's going on once again we'll continue to keep you posted for the areas in the northern carolina area for the hurricane earl and uh, for that area i'm pretty sure they're doing some evacuations in that location of the uh, areas of the coastline so this storm system again is a major hurricane the outer bands of the storm have waves up to 10 to 15 feet and that's very large waves which will have an effect on flooding and major storms as well coming out of the outer bands of the storm system so we'll continue to keep posted on the storm please stand by and, and uh, stay tuned with MrHurricaneTracker.com right here on YouTube as well and we'll keep you updated with the latest information thank you very much for watching please rate subscribe and comment and have a great day